Welcome to week seven's Blackboard discussion. This week we're starting with uh, understanding the firm or the company. And to understand the firm or the company, we have to realize that first and foremost, they try to do one thing, which is maximize profits. And we know that profits are revenues minus costs. The first thing to think about are costs. Consider this guy over here. We'll call him Steve Albert. And he is going to try to make some profits by opening up a business. He's going to open up a shop here. And this shop's going to have a door. And he's going to sell ice cream. Now, this shop sells ice cream. And Steve knows what he wants to do. He wants to maximize profits. So what's the first thing he does? Well, he hires an accountant, of course. And the accountant's going to tell him how he does it. And the first thing the accountant says is, Steve, what are your revenues going to be? And Steve thinks for a while. And he says, well, I'll be working for a month here. And I figure I'm going to make about $8,000 in revenues this month. And the accountant says, that's pretty good. But, you know, that doesn't mean anything until you tell me about your costs. Well, I'm going to have to buy some cream to fill up the ice cream, some cones. I might hire somebody back here to work in the shop, and they're going to need some revenue, um, some income. So all total, I think my cost paying rent are going to be something like about, oh, I don't know, $5,500. So the accountant went to Harvard Business School, and they know how to do their math. So they say, well, here you go. I've got my spreadsheet Revenues eight thousand, costs five thousand. Your profits, Steve, are going to be two thousand five hundred dollars. Well, that makes me pretty happy over here, right? Let's put a little smiley face over there, because I'm going to make a lot of money. But then I have another friend, and she comes over here, and she says to me, "You know, Steve, uh, you're an economist. Isn't there something else you should be thinking about?" And I said, "Well, what's that?" And she says. Now, these are your costs for your ice cream and your cones and your labor and your rent. But there's something else. What else could you be doing with your time? That's an important consideration. And you're an economist. You know that. And this is called my implicit cost. What else could this entrepreneur be doing? What else could they be doing? Now, Steve's okay. He could be doing ice cream, but he could also be doing something else. He could probably be working at a sports shop or something, selling equipment. And if he did that, his monthly salary would be $2,400. So this is if Steve did something else. Now, you've got to subtract the $2,400 from that as well, because that's the true economic profit of opening up an ice cream stand. So this is something else. This up here is the accounting profit. And this down here is the economic profit. What's the difference? We've taken into account the implicit costs. What else Steve could have made? This cost is what else I could have done. Now, in this case, I have an economic profit of $100. So should I or shouldn't I open up this ice cream stand? Well, the answer is yes. In this case, of course, because not only do I cover my costs, I cover my implicit costs, and I make an economic profit of, 20, of $100. But let's consider another situation. For example, what if I could work somewhere and make $2,800? Maybe I go work at McDonald's and I could actually make $2,800. Should I open up this ice cream stand? Well, let's see what happens here. Now, we have something called accounting profits of $2,500, right? But now we have $2,500 minus $2,800. Uh-oh, something's happened. We now have a loss of $300. But this loss is actually an economic loss. And now we think to ourselves, should Steve or should Steve not open this ice cream stand? And the big difference is now, no. 
Now, the accountant still thinks, of course, that we've made a profit of $2,500, but Steve's an economist and he realized there's these implicit costs and my decision has changed. So, the big news is when we think of costs, we have to realize that when we talk about costs in economics, when we draw cost curves in economics, not only are we thinking about the explicit accounting costs, but we're also talking about implicit costs. That means if there's an economic profit of, say, zero, then we would go ahead and probably open up the ice cream shop. Because not only are we covering our costs, but we're covering our implicit costs. Uh, go ahead and check out cost blackboard discussion number two, where we discuss and describe marginal costs.